Hey friends, how's it going? Today I have a bunch of projects I need to button up. I am going to be working in the front flower bed, um, specifically in the corner where I planted the dahlias. I need to weed. I need to get a rock and play in the blue salvia planta that needs to go somewhere in a container in the ground. I'm going to put it in the ground. I also need to plant some gladiolus. I have sunflowers that need to go in the ground. I want to mulch that area and we'll see what other things are on the list. I need to start some more sunflowers. I need to um, start a few other seeds. So it's going to be a busy morning. So let's jump right in. So this is the section I was talking about. I need to plant the salvia and do a lot of weeding in this area here. You got to get rid of all those little seedlings. Okay, right in here, kind of not in a good spot. I think I need to move it back a little bit. Let me work on that a second. right here we have a, an Indian summer rudbeckia so I planted it behind this is a May night salvia this will be done blooming pretty soon I'll shear it back and then this one should bloom all summer long once it starts going um, I have more Indian summer rudbeckia here and here this is the aster that I sheared back and we have some phlox and the perennial sunflower. Yeah, I just wanted to back up and give you a view. Um, so the rock and play in the blue salvia wants full to part sun. The more sun, the better. It is upright and it can grow up to 48 inches tall. You want to plant it about a foot from something else. Uh, it is actually perennial in zone 7A and normal water, wants full to part sun, and in a container or landscape use. Um, so I do have one in a container. So we'll compare at some point during the summer how their growth is and how they're looking in the different settings. All right, as you guys can see, I have a lot of weeding to do, so let me get after that. since I seem to have so many weeds along this um, soaker hose line I'm actually going to put cardboard or paper under the line and cover it over with mulch and we'll see if that helps kind of smother out some of the weeds that have already started um, let me show you where the dahlias are so I had two varieties um, Right here is one variety. And then, this is a problem when you start weeding. Huh. Here is the second. That's the Karma Chocolate. And then right here, right there, the third one is starting to come up. 
this is yarrow, yarrow, yarrow. I think I'm gonna plant a row of gladiolus right in here. it is time to plant gladiolus so some of these are easy to tell which is up and which is down there's the point up this is where the roots come out so this sets down about four inches in the soil tip point tip pointing up and I'm gonna plant about 25 I think maybe 30 um, this is just an assortment. There's frizzles, there's regular, there's, there's just a mix of um, gladiolus forms in here. Like I said, I'm going to plant about 25. I'm going to go scope out and figure out where I'm planting these. Okay, I got about 10 in kind of dotted around in there. I planted 10 in here and six along the other so side. So I was able to dot about six along the edge here. Now it's time to plant some sunflower seedlings. Next up, I am switching gears and I'm going to be doing some seed starting. Alrighty, I'm going to do uh, six more of each Horizon or Pro Cut Orange and Premier Sunflowers. And I'm going to do six Gomprina. And the potting mix I'm using is half compost, half potting mix. First thing I'm going to do is fill up each of the six packs with the mix and then I will put the seeds in and then I will get it well watered in because this mix is very dry. Alright, the first seeds I am doing are the Pro Cut Horizon. These are orange sunflowers that open sort of facing up. Next up, I am doing six of the Pro Cut Orange. They are the same color as the Horizon, but these open the more traditional forward facing look. And last up are the Premier Sunflowers. These are a 50 day to maturity sunflower and they are a little shorter than the Pro Cuts. The max height on these is about three feet. So that helps with the uh, speed of maturity. All three of these varieties are pollenless, so they are great in bouquets. They don't drop pollen on the table once you've made that bouquet and brought it in the house. Next, I am just pushing them down into the soil and when I water them in, that soil will cover over the seeds. So the next seed I am planting are Gomfrina. These are little seeds, so I am just sprinkling them on top of the soil. I have to be careful when I water, water them in because they may just float away. And here they are all watered in on the heat mat. On today's list is I have these really cute little baskets that I have normally hung on the garage but I want to hang them on the front fence I just want to give it a try so I'm gonna work on that and then <laughs> let's see how this goes
I am using masking tape and a blue marker to create a template so that I know where to drill the holes in the fence so that the container will line up correctly. Okay, this is me trying to measure. I don't know why I'm measuring because I knew that that was an eight foot board. So I end up just counting the pickets and finding the center that way. I marked where the center was and I'm using the little template that I traced from the back of the container. I'm putting it on the fence and I will drill the holes in that spot. Once the holes are drilled, I can put the screws in, just being careful not to push them all the way against the board tight because the container has to slip over the screws. All right, with the first one done, I move on to the second one using the same template. I didn't realize that that was a mistake because they are not the same distance. I should have done a new template, but live and learn. My neighbor came to visit for a minute just to say hi, uh, but I do get this one finished as well. I'm just trying to make them a little, you know, level so that... Yeah. So it's an And this is the moment that I realize it doesn't fit. So yeah, I have to <laughs> drill a new hole. Great. In the end, I did manage to get them both done and I think they look lovely on the fence. Just so sweet. All right, it's a new day. I had to uh, stop working yesterday and uh, I got a lot accomplished. There's still more to do. I'll be doing a video shortly on cleaning up the back garden area around where I planted the sunflowers. So um, yeah, stay tuned for more. All right, friends, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.